What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this new project from Eminem called Music To Be Murdered By Side B. This is going to be a semi-rant slash regular review, so obviously I'm not a big fan of this one. But if you've been following my channel for quite a while now, you already know my feelings about Eminem. I think he started incredibly strong with his first three albums. Those are considered to be classics by pretty much everybody out there. But since then, we're talking close to 20 years ago or so since the Eminem show, things have been much more missed than hit for me personally. No matter how you feel about him, whether you're a diehard fan or a detractor, I think we can all agree that Eminem is a very contentious artist, and every time he drops, the discussion can get pretty heated, which... I'm sure is bound to happen in the comments section, but I'm going to do my best to explain my side of things, and then of course you guys can explain your side of things, but going into this one, I didn't have the highest expectations. Of course, a couple years ago, Eminem dropped one of the worst hip-hop albums I ever heard with Revival, and then he followed it up with Kamikaze. I actually thought Kamikaze was okay, but looking back, I think I also overrated it a bit. It just seemed so much better because Revival was so bad, you know what I'm saying? Revival was like some dog shit, and then he came out with Kamikaze, which, I mean, anything would sound good coming after Revival, but even still, Kamikaze had a couple of tracks, and it was okay. But earlier this year, he dropped Music To Be Murdered By, I guess you could call that one Side A, since we're getting Side B now, and that one fell flat for me too, so needless to say, I don't really have crazy expectations for Eminem's music at this point. I feel like for his past bunch of releases, if I'm being honest with you, I've been saying the same things about Eminem's music. Of course, I can respect his flows and some of his technical skill and wordplay, because he does pull that off quite well, but at the same time, I think he also pushes it a bit too far once in a while. And what I mean by that is this. It seems like his verses are often these lengthy, aimless diatribes with not much direction, and while he will hit on a clever line or two, I certainly give him that, so I'm not being an all-out hater here. I just gotta be honest with you, man. It seems like there are way more bad, cringy, dad joke type of bars on this than there are good ones. I mean, when I listen to some of these verses, it reminds me of that verse from that Bare Naked Ladies song one week ago. Remember that shit? Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. You eat a drumstick and your brain starts ticking. Watching X Files with no lights on and all the maze on. I don't know why I know that much of that verse. I probably should, man. I should probably erase that from my mind to remember more important things. But you know that damn verse. This is what this Eminem shit has been sounding like to me lately. Then you're gonna get questionable production choices and weak hooks. These are things that Eminem projects just always seem to have for me. You're going to get all that here, like you have with some of his recent discography. So we're going to jump right into this album here, uh, where there's really not much that's very new or compelling. I think if you are not a diehard Eminem fan, you could skip out on this one and not miss too much. You're going to get some of those bad singing hooks that I mentioned, as heard on the song Higher. Eminem boring us with more of his relationship woes. Does anyone care about his relationship stories at this point? Because I feel like they very rarely hit. You're going to get that on the song She Loves Me. This one has some really bland horn production, so that wasn't a great track and of course we get a poor club attempt with killer this one actually has a bit of a dj mustard-esque feel to the production at least that's what it reminded me of something that taga would rap on and you're going to get some lazy club musings from eminem i just find eminem's attempts at making club music usually fall flat man there aren't a lot of club bangers he has although i would say obviously shake that with nate dog that one went off in the club so i will give him credit for that if nothing else but the biggest offender on this album track-wise has got to be tone deaf I swear to God, man, this shit right here is one of the worst tracks I have heard all year. It is so bad. The wonky production on it is absolutely terrible. You're getting another awful hook and plenty of those cringeworthy bars from Eminem. Like when he says, you heard a Chris Christopherson. Well, I'm pissed pissed Offerson. This is the shit that he's just coming up with. And at the start of the track, he says, I have an ear in function and I can't figure it out. <sighs> That right there just encapsulates where this man's humor is at, at the age of close to 50. I think he's 48 now. This is the type of shit that he's bringing to you. And I get it. Eminem is having fun here. He's not taking things too seriously. This is something he has said many times in his interviews. And this is what his fans often tell me too. They say, Luke, you're taking this shit way too seriously, man. He's just having fun, trying to piece together words and flip some clever shit. I do understand all that. If you find it hilarious and clever, by all means, I applaud you. I hope you're enjoying it. But for me personally, man, I've find these bars to be terrible more often than not. He does have a couple of good ones once in a while, I will give him that, but it seems like every couple of seconds he's saying some really silly shit that just takes me out of the track. I don't think when people say this, they're nitpicking him too hard, which is what some people say. I feel like these lines are all over these damn albums, and I promise you I won't be the only one who feels the same way. 
if you feel differently, that's cool too. We're just here to talk our opinions on this album. We don't got to get all crazy and angry. But to keep things moving, we are going to get some more of those cringeworthy lines I brought up, like on the song Nat, where he says, they say these bars are like COVID, you get them right off the bat. Then there's another line, kick some fly shit. I said, I got wings on my ass. He sang that on the song Book of Rhymes, which really just has a pretty bland beat. It says DJ Premier's featured on here. I guess he's just doing some scratching, but this is just a really stale trap production. Some of these lines, though, just to get back to it, it sounds like some shit your drunk uncle would say at a holiday function or something you would read in one of those bathroom companion books. You know what I mean? When you sit down on the toilet to take a big shit and then there's one of those books there that just has jokes and silly things like that in it. That's what a lot of these bars remind me of. But hey, it is what it is. This is nothing new from Eminem, especially in recent years. That's what he's doing. But we are going to keep it moving here as I scroll down through my notes. You get another uninventive trap joint with the song These Demons. But there is an instance here where I will say Eminem actually made me laugh. I did say, once in a while he is clever and I can be amused by him. It's very rare, but it does happen. What's that saying? A broken clock is right twice a day. Well, Eminem will have a couple of alright bars on this album, even though most of them are bullshit. And the one that made me laugh was when he said, you get me to leave it's no fucking way i got a better chance of fucking young ma and then he does that little ooh ad lib and i don't know man that shit just was kind of funny to me it made me laugh so hey you might even find that's kind of cheesy and corny i would understand but hey that was one that hit me so i'll give him credit for that he also raps a bit about the pandemic and racial inequality on this track but as usual it's not the most focused effort here as he goes on then to rap about how his dick is so big how he's hiding his salami just you know, stuff like that. Of course, Eminem just going off the rails, which is what people either love him for or hate him for. It is what it is. Now, another song we get on here that I saw a lot of people talking about and being split on is Alfred's Theme. I just found the beat on this was very uninventive and repetitive. I thought it was a good idea to sample the Alfred Hitchcock theme, but I thought it could use some more breakdowns, chops, and mix-ups. I just found it got really boring and repetitive, as I said. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna get Eminem just emptying out his rhyme book on this with some more of those cheesy lines like act like a jockstrap cut my nuts then I check my ball hair make sure it's all there don't make me give that croc a dial because if I do it's see you later alligator bitch I'll pee on your head like a Phillies hat I'm gonna fuck your mom in the butt with a thermometer fucking phenomenal <sighs> and so on. People often tell me that I'm exaggerating about Eminem's bars, but I don't know how you can hear some of these lines and just think, oh man, that shit was fire. Oh, that's crazy. Eminem is going off right now to each their own, but it ain't working for me. And hey, all I can do is give you my opinion. So it is what it is. Again, the bad far outweighs the good when it comes to these lines, in my opinion. And there honestly wasn't too much here that I liked, but I did find some positives, so I wanted to talk about those as well. I thought Favorite Bitch had one of the album's best beats and a quality hook from Ty Dog a sign as M is on here reflecting on his place in hip hop and the love that he has for it. Pretty cool idea for a track. And then with Discombobulated, we get my favorite song on the album. This one is just really a blast from the past. It sounds like something from around the relapse days, just the type of flow and vocals that he's using. You get some vintage, quintessential Dr. Dre production on here. It really just took me back. So if you're a fan of Eminem's earlier work, I think this is a song that you'll want to check out because you might enjoy it. Another moment that was kind of interesting to me is Guns Blazing because here Dr. Dre is talking about his divorce with his wife, just giving us a personal look there. And the beat on Black Magic is thicker than Moriah Mills, although once again, it's one of those relationships gone bad tracks where Eminem is getting violent up in this shit, because he's been known to do that. The song Zeus is also decent. We get some eerie production here, and some quality hook work from White Gold. So this track was decent as well, but I was kind of surprised to see M take a shot as Snoop Dogg. I don't know what that's about exactly, but I assume it's about how Snoop said Eminem is not one of his top 10 rappers or whatever it was. Can you hear my son crying up through the vent there? This is the shit that I'm working with when I'm trying to do these reviews, but we're almost at the end, so we are going to pound through it and wrap up here, man. I did think this one was a little bit worse than Side A. They're pretty close, but where I did think it's worse, I'm going to go with a 4 out of 10. I mean, there were a couple things I liked here. Like, I do give Eminem credit once in a while. Like I said, the odd clever line, some of the flows and technical skills are all right. There were a couple rare beats that I thought were decent, but overall, man, it is what it is, and Eminem does doesn't really care what the critics are saying. At least that's what he says on this record, although he does spend much of it speaking out to the critics. So it's kind of interesting to me. Like, where is Eminem at exactly right now? With every album, he's talking to the critics and to the haters, saying that he doesn't care, and yet he's spending bars on them. But at the end of the day, like he does say on Alfred's theme, how could I get up in arms about you saying trash is all that I put out? 
bitch, I still get the bag when I'm putting garbage out. So, you know, fuck me. Fuck the people that don't like Eminem's music. What does he care? He still has that diehard fan base. He's still making the music he wants to make. He's having fun. His fans enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. But I don't like it. So I don't know what the fuck to tell you, man. That's just me coming down here, giving you my opinion, sitting in my basement, <sighs> tired as hell trying to wrap up this review so there you go those are my thoughts and opinions on this record you guys hit me up in the comment section to let me know how you feel and of course make sure you do that good youtube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it thank you for watching everybody i will see you next time